Hello, we are going live, live, live. I am Dr. Paul Dyer. Welcome, we are live with Bridges Presents Voices to be Heard. Voices to be Heard is a domestic violence show, domestic disturbance show, that we give every other week on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, the co-host is um, Miss Lynn Twyman and also Tamara Randolph. <clears throat> this week, it's a short week, and I still want to give people the information about what we do and why we do the shows. We do the show Voices to be Heard to hear your voice. We know that the stories are out there needs to be told. We know that there's more light to shine on domestic disturbance, domestic violence, and domestic hatred. There's been a lot of issues that we are facing in domestic households. We know that people are emotionally disturbed. We know that emotionally people are off balance. We get all that. But when you start abusing yourself, abusing your partner, abusing your family, that needs to be told and needs to stop. The only way we can solve these problems is if we open and put shed light on them, shed light on them in the darkness. Because the silence is what keeps the domestic violence there. So many people lose their lives to domestic violence. There are all types of domestic violence. Men against men, women against women, men against women, women against men, parents against children, parents against parents, their parents. So we have children abusing their parents depending on the age. Domestic violence knows no age, no color, and no boundaries. Then again, all hardship knows no age and no boundaries. It spans across the globe of how we are able to deal with this and to be better and to heal from this. We need to understand that healing is a process, grieving is a process, and all this takes time, but it does take you. It does take you to say, I am not taking it anymore. We all have stories to tell. We all have stories that have been told. And it still goes on and on and on. You do not need to be in a bad situation ever again. No, it's not easy for me to say. Yes, I know how hard it is if you're in a bad situation and you feel like you can't get out because you have no money, no skills, no job, no car, and they use that against you. Tell someone to help you get out. Tell someone to help you make a plan so you can get out. Stop keeping the secrets. The secrets is what's keeping you locked up in your domestic situation. The only way to get out of your domestic violence situation or anyone you know, and this is very important for us. You know, when I do all types of different shows, Mental Health Money, so it doesn't matter what the shows it is, it's about telling someone, and then it's about the others learning how to listen. Learning how to listen to people who need your help. Look for those signs of human trafficking. Look for those signs of domestic abuse. Look for those signs of child abuse. Look for those signs. When we care about humanity, we don't just look for issues. We look through loving lenses, not excuses. And only then we can say, do you need help? Can I help you? Are you okay? It's important. It's important for us to know that only we can make this better. Let me tell you a little bit about my story. Some of you may know, some of you don't. But I'll tell you. My mother was also in a domestic situation. My mother was married three times. The second time was to my father. At that time, my father did hit my mom. My mom left, and she ended up marrying another man. 
a stepfather who ended up abusing me and my brother brutally and hurting my mom. My mom ended up moving us out into a one room apartment in New York. We had all our things there together, it was just us. But we stayed together, but she got out. It was hard. It was only one room and all three of us slept in one bed or on the floor. Hard times. I, I've been there as a child. I've watched my mother go through it, but I also watched my mother come out of it. I also see people who have redemption, like my dad, when he did what he did back in the day. You can get the help you need. I'm not going to talk about why those people did what they did, because that was their issue. But my mother didn't keep it a secret either. It was family that helped. It was a family that helped us escape. It was family that helped us stay alive. That's why I'm alive today. Through family, through care, and helping. You too can live through this. You too can be alive. But I need you to say something. I need you to understand that you can get help. And for those people who are abusing others, who are sorry when they say they're sorry, I believe you. But I also believe you need help. I believe you need to seek out a therapist, seek out a program, and get the help you need. I do believe you. And I do believe you can change. But you can only change when you admit and dig into yourself and tear apart all those constructs that you've developed yourself to be. Because it's those constructs that's keeping you abusing the others. Those ideas, those egos that's causing you to hurt others. This is just a short segment on Voices to be Heard. We'll be back after the holidays, or after Thanksgiving, and a little bit after Christmas. And we'll be back on the air, waiting, hoping to hear your story, to let you know that you're not alone. So come on in, give us a call, give us a jingle, social media, whatever, how you want to do it. And let us know that you have a story that you want to tell on Voices to be Heard. Because you telling your story will help someone else. You telling your story will help you. I hope none of you ever will have to go to an abusive situation. But I also want to let you know, there's resources, there's help, and there's me. If you don't know where, know where to go, if you hear this, share it, but tell someone, tell me, I'll find you some resources. I hope this helped. This is Dr. Paul Dye on Voices to be Heard, and we'll be right back after these days. Be safe, be vigilant in watching out for others, and prepare yourself to help another. Learn how to serve humanity. And yes, for those of you people who don't think you're worth it, you are worth it. You are worth it. You are worth it. Thank you.